today we're in Doyletown, Pennsylvania. I'm very lucky to say Nora Jane Struthers. Welcome to Southern Country. Thank you so much, Herb. Thanks it's for having me. The pleasure of meeting you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. We're gonna find all we can find out about you today. All right, I'm ready. All right. You have a self-titled album. This came out on June 22nd. Mm -hmm. I want to know all about the album that's current. I recorded it at Brent Truitt Studio in East Nashville, and Brent um, produced it and played mandolin on it. And I pretty much just gave him 11 of my original songs and a list of my dream team of players to have on the record. And he, he's he been in the business for a long time, and um, he's really well respected, and, and he just got everything together for me. You call your music a classic Americana? Mm -hmm. Describe what a classic Americana. Well, why describe it? Listen to your you listen to your CD. <laughs> that's right. There you go. That was a that's a best way to describe it. There you go. It's the best way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. I, I do. I, I mean, I call it classic Americana because it you can hear the bluegrass in it and you can hear the old time in it and you can hear some Celtic and some folk, but it's not really any of those things. I mean, You'll, you'll definitely be able to find bluegrass lovers out there that listen to my record and say, that's not bluegrass. You know, and you'll be able to find uh, old time lovers out there that say, that's not old time, and the same for folk and everything else. But it is, you can hear all those things in it. So I think it's really just about the story. It's, it's classic Americana. It's all of the above. It's all of the above. You wrote all but one song. You wrote a yodel song. How did you, you I, I read where you used to yodel before you can talk. My mom, well, my mom That's your mother said says that, that I uh, I've read that. yodeled before yep. I talked, but I don't actually remember. Okay. But she's an honorable woman, so I'm sure well, it's, that's close enough. I'm sure it's true. Um, yeah, I, you know, my dad and I performed together. Yep. Um, my dad plays five-string banjo, and mm -hmm. he, uh, he, he and I always would close the show with a yodeling, sometimes a yodeling medley. Actually. He yodels too. He yodels. He's a way, he's a much better yodel than I am, much better. Um, but I mean, it's a great way to close. I mean, you can't top a yodeling song. No. You really no. can't. It's just no. so fun, and the audience goes nuts for it. And uh, it's so fun to make the audience go nuts. Talk to me about your wardrobe that you use on stage. It goes back to the 30s and 40s. Yes, this one right here is. Um, I guess that this is probably early 50s. And uh, I found it in Lawrence, Kansas, on my way out to Telluride, actually. But I, I do, I always wear um, mostly cotton, 40s and 50s vintage dresses on stage. And your hair and makeup is matches? Yeah, I mean, you know, mm. uh, not so much. Okay. I don't have period hair going on okay. here. It's just ponytail. Okay. But, um, yeah, I just like, I Why? think it, it Why did you, uh... adds to the show. Okay. Now, I did think, that, does it I like them a lot. <laughs> does it influence your music? Does it enhance your music? Or does it drive home the type of music you're singing? I think it might drive home the kind of music that I'm singing a little bit more than anything else. I, it is just another excuse for me to buy dresses that I love, though, <laughs> I have to say. Talk to me about the Dirt Road Sweethearts. Um, well, Dirt Road Sweetheart is the duo in which yeah. I performed with my dad. What kind of songs do you sing with the Dirt Road Sweethearts? We do mostly um, traditional brother duets like Lumen Brothers, Stanley yep. Brothers, Blue Sky Boys, Nerd the Browns. You're going way back. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. That's real. It's real stuff. Real stuff. That's pure. <laughs> That's right. a purist will appreciate that. <laughs> and we actually did make a record together. We recorded a record in um, me and my dad. It's, it's totally different than my new album. I heard the Bluebird sing is the, the title track yeah. of the album. And we recorded it in Leesburg, Virginia. Um, with Les Thompson of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Wow. He has a studio down there. Yeah, so, And that's a, it's a really honest, sweet record. It's just the two of us playing and singing. What turned you from teaching to music full-time? What was the turning point, you think, in your Well, there, there are a couple things. Um, one of them was that I, I just, you know, growing up in North New Jersey, I didn't know any professional musicians. Like, I just didn't know any growing up. So I didn't really understand that you that was something that you can pursue. And obviously, it's a, a tricky career path, and it's not a simple, you know, if you want to be a teacher, you just go get your degree and get your te teaching license, and then you can find a job, you know. Uh -huh. But being a musician is a lot more foggy uh -huh. as to how you get there. Um, so I, when I was going down to the Galax Fiddlers Convention, I, I met um, the first professional musician that I've ever met, and, and just sort of meeting him and saying, oh, what, what do you do for a living? And he was, you know, great musician. Right. I was like, what do you do for a living? He was like, oh, I'm a musician. It's like, what Full do time. you mean? You, you just play music and that has, that's how you feed yourself and pay your rent? Wow. He was like, yeah. I was like, oh. So that, that was a spark for me. And then, um, you know, I've always wanted to be a musician also. I, I loved teaching, I really did, but I, I figured 
If I was ever going to try it, I had to do it when I was young and unattached. Totally. So I went for it. Totally. Talk to me about Telluride, the Bluegrass Festival in 2009. They gave you an award for, um, oh, for acknowledge your songwriting. Yeah, in 2009, that was my one of my first. Um, that was my first songwriting accolade. So right. uh, I was honored to be a finalist in the Troubadour competition. And then this past year, I was a finalist in the Troubadour competition again. And I brought my band out, and we competed in the band competition, and, and we won. So it was. Uh, Good for you. Thank you, yeah. Talk about the band. Who, well, who so helped you the win? The band, um, and we debuted the band name at Telluride, too, because I'd been trying to think of a good band name for two years, and I hadn't come up with anything. What is it? Um, so uh, it's Nora Jane Struthers and the Bootleggers. Okay, cool. The Bootleggers, and in the Bootleggers, on fiddle is Ward Stout, on bass and harmony vocals is PJ George, and on mandolin is Dave Goldenberg. Wow. And we're touring all over the place this summer, so. Good for it's, you. It's a, it's a hot band. We had a good time at Telluride. What did you learn from teaching that made you a better performer today? Ooh. What did you take out of your, out of teaching. your teaching that make that can help you perform? Well, teaching is in a lot of ways performing itself. You know, you're right in front of the kids. I mean, yeah, you're up there and you're trying to keep them entertained. I mean, I used to teach grammar with different accents. I would like, you know, I don't have to do that on the stage, hopefully, but it's the same thing. You, you can know, do you're, it on the show. Yeah. Right, 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 but you're, you know, you're trying to keep people engaged, and and it's it's about keeping them interested too. It's not just, you know, I don't want to be up there just singing my songs. Like it's it's a show, you know, uh -huh. and that's what, it's it's the entertainment business, and it's fun to do that, you know. Influences, you had a bunch of them. Sure. Yeah, who, yeah. give them name a few of them. Um, well, um. Man. Yeah, Gillian Welch so many. was one. Sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, for songwriting, Not I mean, Gillian awesome. Welch and Tim yeah. O'Brien um, were two yeah. of my greatest influences, I think. And um, I love Hot Rise, and I love. No, they're good. Oh, they're great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I love the Leuven Brothers, and I love um, the band, yeah. and uh, so, you know, all Graham Parsons, all that stuff. What are, what's your goals? What are my what goals? What are your goals? In, musically? Musically speaking. Um, just keep playing music and keep have picking. people want to. I want to find my audience. That's my goal. That's a good idea. I want to find my, find the people that really in, are enjoying what I'm doing.